don't know. I was really, really disappointed in that. Um, and I don't know. Maybe he just has severe memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's the case, then, you know, I feel bad for him. But it did seem like you were pretty surprised that he had that conversation with you about not making him aware that you were going public with your story. So were you were you really that surprised? I was, yeah. Um, you know, I obviously figured he would want to talk about everything that happened between us. Um, but when that's what he decided to talk about, I was surprised because I I did make him aware. Um, so when he talked about it going public, what he means is, you know, me sharing it on Summer House with Summer House cameras rolling, right? But the way I shared it on Summer House was with Carl, my best friend, right? And so it was a way that I was comfortable sharing that story on on our TV show. Mm -hmm. um, I made Jason aware of that before the summer, before filming had even started. I just didn't know exactly at that time, like how it was going to be shared, you know, but whatever. I did tell him we had an entire conversation about it. He actually was like, yes, you did. That's right. And I'm like, Okay, so then what was the whole point of this conversation, right? Because now you're just like making me feel bad about a situation that I already feel bad about, right? Like this is you're just making it so much worse. And what makes the matters even worse, Christina, is that Jason and I filmed an entire conversation on my couch for Summer House season six. That <laughs> summer we filmed together. Now, it got cut, it was never used, it was on the chopping block, you know, and they edited it out for whatever reason. How, like, you were physically there while this was being made public. So why are you now coming to me, you know, nine months later to make me feel guilty for not telling you? Like, when I, A, had an entire conversation with you and B, filmed with you. So... I don't know. I was very upset by that. Um, I, I mean, all sorts of things go through your head. Like why, why would he do this? Like there are multiple situations where he now understood, like he was made aware. Like, why is he doing this right now? Um, I don't know. I just, I, it really upset me. I was very upset after that conversation. I basically have not spoken to him since um, just because I just thought it was a really messed up thing to do. Like, even if you are doing it to have something to talk about or for relevancy, like, don't use my trauma for your relevancy. You know, yeah. like, that's where I draw the line. Like, that is absolutely unacceptable for me. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was really upsetting. And I, and I just, I had to change the way I viewed him in my mind you know, and it's like, here's a situation where I will always and forever think about this miscarriage and, you know, it will never leave me. So I've always been like, OK, well, at least it happened with a nice guy. You know, at least Jason's a nice guy. And he was just so wonderful. And I just had the most amazing things to say about him, you know, in the dialogue that I chose to use to, you know, whenever I spoke about it. Jason was absolutely wonderful, but now here he's making me feel bad about a situation where I've tried my best to handle it in a very public way the best, to the best of my ability. And I'm, you know, trying to help women, you know, in case that they, in case they want that kind of support. And now here he is shaming me about something that I already feel shame about. Mm -hmm. And something that you already discussed as well. And something that we discussed multiple times. So I don't know. I was really, really disappointed in that. Um, and I don't know. Maybe he just has severe memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's the case, then, you know, I feel bad for him. But no, it makes a hard situation even more difficult because thinking that you have somebody in your corner and they kind of turn around. And like you said, you haven't spoken to him. Did he ever try to reach out and apologize? Um, no, he actually went on a podcast in June and like mm -hmm. talked about all of this stuff. 
um, on that podcast. And I basically texted him and was like, I don't need your permission to talk about my body and what happened to me. And the fact that you went on this podcast and you think that this is acceptable is very sad and up. And uh, he never wrote me back. <laughs> Jeez, oh and then God. he showed up to the summer house three different times. 